on page 16, <coughs> tractate Yoma. Um, we discussed in the previous section about the Benezer Ben Yaakov, um, that uh, it's go in one avenue in the tractate Midot in regards to the uh, order of the service in the temple. So the Gemara said, Hachi Nami Mista writes two lines from the Shurot uh, Rechavot, from the long, long one. Hachi Nami Mistabra, the Rabbi Yezer ben Yaakov, did none. We go back to the discussion of Tractate Midot, chapter 2. Kol Akhtalim Shayu Sham, all those corners that was in the Harabite and Temple Mountain, Hayu Gvohin, Chutz Mikotel Nizrachi, so he said that all the walls were there surrounding the Temple Mount were the high uh, uh, except for the eastern wall as the Kohen who burns the red heifer stands on the Mount of Olives which the red heifer was slaughtered and burn and directs his attention and look toward the entrance of the sanctuary when he sprinkles the blood. So you have to go by Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov in that Mishnah. So Utnan, we learn a different Mishnah, Intracted Midot, Kol Aptachim Shayusham, all the entrances that were there in the temple, Govhan Esrimama, they were 20 cubit high, verochban eseramot, and the 10 cubit wide, utnan lefanimimeno, and we said inside the eastern wall of the Temple Mount, hachail eseramot, the, the, um, the, the gate, so it was 10 cubit. And they said, It was a, a rampart which elevated to 10 cubit wide, and the area is 12 stairs. And room ma'ala chatziyama, that um, uh, each stair was half a cubit high. Veshilcha <coughs> chatziyama, and half a cubit deep. So you have together six cubits. So those of you who have gemarot with pictures, I assume you have some pictures of that. Mm -hmm. So we learn there also in the chapter two, Mishnah five, Chamesh esrei ma'alot olot mitocha. You have fifteen stairs ascend from within the women courtyard. Hayordot me'ezrat Yisrael. Le'ezrat Nashim. Ezrat Israel is the eastern part of the large courtyard. And the, the 15 stairs go from one domain to another. Rum ma'ala chatziyama veshilcha chatziyama said each stair was a half cubit high and half cubit deep. Utnan, and we learn there in chapter 3, Mishnah 6, inside the courtyard, Bein ha'ulam ve'lam mizbeach, the area between the entrance hall and the altar, esrim mushtayim ama, 22 cubit wide, ushtem esre ma'alot ayusham, and there were 12 stairs in that area. Rum ma'ala chatzi ama, Veshilcha chatziyama, half a cubit high and half a cubit deep, for an additional ascent of six cubit and a total high of nineteen and a half cubits. So, as we said, that because the the women part it's a six um, um, a cubit high from the Temple Mount, so that it means that Ezrat Israel the the uh, the courtyard of regular Israelite was seven and a half. So it just gives you the measurement. Uh, um, I wish that everyone had the Gemara with the, with the picture, so you see how it works. You guys have the picture? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, right. Okay, you have? okay. 
Utnan, because <coughs> it's much easier when you use the pictures. Utnan, Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Omer. Now we learn over there, Mishnah chapter 2, Mishnah 6. Ma'ala ha'ita sham, he says, is another, there was an additional stair that between the Israelites' court and the Kohanim courtyard, the stair, Gavoa ve'agavoa ama, ve'duchan natun alea. There's one cubit high, and there's a platform that the Leviim um, stood and pre, pre, uh, performed there. Shal uvo shalosh malot shel chatsi chatsi ama. And the place upon it was uh, a three stairs, each um, with height and depth of half cubit. So in total you have 24 cubits. So now uh, <coughs> we want to prove how all these Mishnayot go by Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov. He amar bishlam Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, he hainu di chasrei pitcha. So it means that, that that part was was covered. The entrance was concealed. Ela yamar Rabbanan, if you tell me that that's go by the uh, sages that disagree with Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov in the hall, that the ground of that entrance it was a nineteen and a half. Matcha de Mitchaz le Pitcha Begave. So you see here that there isn't there is a half cubit through which the entrance can be seen. So since the the um, the threshold of the sanctuary is only nineteen and a half cubits higher, uh, so they said that so there should be no need to lower the eastern wall. El Shmamina so you have to go again that all this Mishnah, Mishnayot, that uh, you don't have a name. In a tract it Tamid, you have to say that it's go by Rabbi Yezer ben Yaakov. Rav Ada Barav Amar, Rav Ada Barav said, Hamani, this Mishnah that said that the, 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 the eastern wall was lower than the other, Rabbi Yudai, it's go by Rabbi Yudai. That he said, Tanya, Rabbi Yudah Omer, HaMizbeach Memutza, Vomed Be'emtza Azara. He said that the altar is centered and stand in the middle of the temple courtyard, directly aligned with the entrance of the courtyard and the sanctuary. And he said, <coughs> it means that the altar was stand in the middle of the courtyard between north and south, which means that the half of the altar is in a part of the south of the courtyard and half in the north part. So they have 32 cubit long and 32 cubit wide. 16b. 10 amot keneged pitcho shelechal. 10 of cubit of those cubits stood opposite the entrance of the sanctuary. Achatesre amal etzafon. The Achadesre Amale Darom, 11 cubits to the north entrance, 11 cubits to the south of the entrance. Nimza, <coughs> so you put, they conclude with all of that. Hamizbeach mechuvan keneged echal vechotala. So the altar was aligned precisely opposite the sanctuary and his wall. So since the altar was directly aligned with the entrance of the sanctuary, it blocks the entrance and the floor of the, of the Ezrat Israel, the Israelite courtyard, was 13 and a half cubits above the threshold wall of the eastern gate, and the nine cubit was the height of the altar, and the result, the top of the altar was 22 and a half cubit higher than the threshold of the gate, so it's impossible to see the entrance of the sanctuary to the eastern gate of the Temple Mount. So it was necessary uh, to the lower the eastern wall to enable the Kohen standing on the Mount of Olives to see the entrance of the sanctuary. If you tell me that that attracted Midot is go by the Rabbi Yuda, you have to challenge that. Why? How come you're going to tell me that the, it, in the middle of the, uh, the courtyard you have an altar? That's the way Rabbi Yudah holds. The Tnan, Vatnan, 
הוא לא היה להם מטרקטד מידות, כל האזהרה הייתה אורך 187. All the, the, the courtyard is a 187 קיוביט, רוחב, על רוחב 135, in the wide of 135 קיוביט, מן המזרח למערב, 187, from the east to the west, uh, it was 187 קיוביט, that divided as follows, מקום דריסת רגלי ישראל 11 אמה. The place that the, um, the Israelite, the area that access to the Israelite, known as the Israelite courtyard, was 11 cubic. Mekom drisai tragle akoanim, achad esrama, the place that the koanim uh, access and walk, was 11 cubic. Hamiz beach 32, the altar was 32 cubic long. Ben haulam la mizbeach 22. Between the entrance of the hall and the altar, it was... 32 cubits, והאכל מאמה, and the, um, האכל is like the sanctuary, was 100 cubits, אחורי בית הכפורת, behind the wall of the altar, altar cover, which means that the, that's the Kodesh HaKodeshim, the Holy of Holies, the, which is the western end of the sanctuary, because uh, Rashi explains that the Holy of Holies is behind the, the western part of the sanctuary. Uh, so it was between them 64 cubits. Mina darom la tzafon mea u shloshim vechamesh from south to north it was 135 cubit that divided as follows. Hakevesh vea mizbeach shishim mushtayim so they said that the ramp and the altar together is 62 cubit, which means the ram and the altar were 32 cubit long, but two cubits of the upper part and the altar was a subsum in the base of ledge surrounding the altar. And he said, Mina Mizbeach Vela Tabaot Shmone Amot, between the altar and the, and, and the rings was eight cubits, מקום הטבעות 24, the place of the rings was 24 cubit, מן הטבעות לשולחנות 4, between the rings and the tables was uh, 4 cubit, מן השולחנות לננסין 4, between the tables and the uh, uh, pillars was 4 cubit, additional 4 cubit. And he said, "Min hananasin vekotel azara shmone amot from the pillars to the courtyard wall there were eight cubits. So you have together 110 cubits. Vehamotar ben akevesh lakotel mukom hananasin. So the, the the balance of 25 cubits or between the the ramp of the southern wall." along with the area filled with the pillar themselves, which is not included in the, um, uh, uh, the whole, whole above, which means that the total is 135 cubits. <coughs> so you see here, if tomorrow we want to build the Beit HaMikdash, soon we have all the measurements. <coughs> if you think that this Mishnah interacted Midot, follow the word of Rabbi Yudah, מזבח באמצע הזרה ממשכחת לי. Do you tell me that the altar, it was in the middle of the courtyard, how, how that can be? So he said, הרובה דה מזבח בדרום קאי. Most of the altar stands in the southern part of the courtyard. So, so since we said in the tracted midot that most of the altar stand in the south part of the courtyard, so it means that it cannot be in a way Rabbi Yudah or 17. So one must not conclude from this that the Mishnayot in attracted Midot is according to opinion of Rabbi Yezer ben Yaakov. So Shmamina, you should know the rules if they repeat Tyuvta Tyuvta or Shmamina Shmamina. It means that's the final word that's go by Rabbi Yezer ben Yaakov. And not anyone else. So it means, yeah. as we see that Rabbi Yezim and Yaakov said that you cannot see um, toward the, the Temple Mount, the entrance inside the sanctuary, because the, the, the ground 
of the sanctuary was was higher from that that entrance, and and not because it's um, covered, just because it was a higher. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the truth of the matter, the Gemara said later in page 37, that uh, according to Abelezer ben Yaakov, the, the altar was standing entirely in the south part of the courtyard, and nothing was standing the half north of the wall of the entrance of the courtyard. So it means, according to Abelezer ben Yaakov, it was a step between um, Ezrat Israel and Ezrat Kohanim, that uh, they have this um, shipua, this... Uh, Part that um, that block the 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 um, you cannot see inside the sanctuary, and in short we go by Rabbi Bezer and that's the way Rashi explained. Rashi is a long one here, but that's the way he explained it. Rambam, Sefer Avodah Elchot Bet Abchira, Chapter Six, Kotel Mizrachi, the Eastern Wall. Don't mix it with the Western Wall. The Eastern Wall of the Temple Mount was lower than the other to allow the Kohen who slaughtered the red heifer to see the entrance of the sanctuary. And he said also, all the entrance of the Temple Mount and the courtyard were 10 cubit high, w- wide and 20 cubit high. The inside the Temple Mount wall was an open area and inside that was the, um, it's, the, the it's called Lettuce Gate. Yeah, it's a harvest.